For our first game, we have Sticky Doggy versus Aegis. Both of these are really good players. Like, not the best. Like, we wouldn't say the top players, but they're both really solid. Aegis has been, has been improving a lot. Yep. Aegis... Slow down his play. He's not as panicky. Aegis has, been, of course, stuck with Blake and Yane ever since he picked up this game, I think. And Doki is going with S and Orie today. He switches on between that and Ruby. He's very versatile and in different characters. He has a Ruby mix in into his team. Can't escape from crossing fate. <sighs> Round one, guys. Game one. Aegis going with the DP start. Is this DP? Does not work out for him, though. Doki does not get the rebeat on that. Orie can continue her combos on the ground, which she does get that second beat. Offers the burst to get Ori out of there. Blake does have these longer range normals, but having dealt this pressure from Doki gets 5C. Good DP to get that SJD out of there, or I guess JD in this game. Establishing some set play, nice cross. Uh, Zane goes in for the safe jump in the corner, does not get it, now he's being forced out. Goes through a 5C again, he is expecting it this time, but not the third. Yeah, that reached a little further than I thought. I thought it was safe. He's, uh, S got some range on her overhead, for sure. Yep. Uh, Yane Buffer? in semblance nope. now. Let's him see what S is doing to us. Crest will make it safe. Yane is really low, but this Blake is really high. This is something that Aegis has done before, where he'll just stay in with Yane until Blake is at nearly full health and Yane is nearly dead. Yeah, he wants to get that semblance to activate first so that he's got a powered up game in the green. Yep, it's kind of a strategy in that you get powered up semblance, but honestly, I think it'd be better if you just swapped out between them regularly. Yeah. Offering not the burst punish, trying to save that meter, I believe. Yep. Uh, that was an interesting little got mix of a combo, but hey, we got out. kind of an American reset. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was a two hit. Level 4 Resonance on this Aurier, right, going there's... for these Divine Thrusts, <laughs> nice that is grab. plus on block. Right. So the grab does not get it, and he had burst anyway. Wake up super into Burning Gold, this will super through it. Oh, I'm mad! I'm mad for him! I am mad that that worked! <laughs> yep, Yane's super armor on that ah. can only be beaten out by a low, I or a command grab. Oh, man, oh! <laughs> That was like, I think you can actually grab her the, during that, can you? During that dashing? Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I wouldn't... Uh, I don't know. I would rather just go for the low. <laughs> All right, I so would think it would uh, actually kill her because she would have pretty low life. Not feeling the S, switching to the Aurier Ruby. I think this is his yeah, first I, I team. I think that's, that's a better decision. And I honestly think this, honestly think this is Doki's best team. Yeah, he's dropped the Aurier for a while because he wanted to play Aurier and Eunice, and he didn't want to have that overlap between this game and Eunice with the same character. That throws off some people when you have... Uh, I do like that jab pressure. 5C, Doki is a big fan of these 5 season pressure to get the overheads. And honestly, nice he's doing so not really that often at Freaks, so as long as it's a fast one. He trained him enough for the overhead to get some low sneaked in. That's pretty smart. Yep, that is that condition. Ooh, good grab from Aegis. Grab just picks him right up there. Does not get the combo though, unfortunately. Both these characters on half health, he's doing the swapping out thing I talked about earlier. Oh, that is a dead Blake if he does not drop this. But he does drop it. Good Toga. Yeah, he's Bootleg been Toga. to go for that super anytime you see that assist come out. Just not watching his dome right now. And now it's just Yane. This combo will probably force Yane into semblance. Nope, does not get the rebeat at the bottom. It's not a rebeat, but... Yeah. I have a feeling that Doki still has a little bit of that a, is a safe jump. In him. Oh! oh! Wow. They missed That's a it. dead Yane. Safe jump, but does not get... is not safe. Oops. My bad. I, I am... We tied up 1-1. One, one. And that is 1-1. One, one. Score for keepers on the struggle mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I do have to run the stream. I like the song as much as it's been played. It's just not the full version of the song. Yeah. It's a good place to like pick up on it though. This is only part two. A good push block. Nice yep. burst punish. Ori of course does have that incredibly fast divine thrust that is plus on block. I mean he can do whatever he wants afterwards. 
And now he's in the corner, and Blake with his long and normal zoning him out. Immediate low. Watch your feet. Oh. Wild DP. Oh, he's probably I, looking to push block. To get yeah, that was away definitely from the like he thought Blake was gonna get a hit. So it was now block. it's Blake on the other health and Yang wow, needs that, to bring this back. Just ate that DP. Good DP bait. This is gonna be a lot of damage. He's in the corner, so he can do these loops. Right, can't burst out of this. You need to cash out as much as you can. Oh, oh Ron Super. Ron Super. Oh nice. Wild DP. He's been having a lot of these this game. Yeah, I think half of them are probably like DHC. him preemptively trying to push. Drops it. DHC, DHC. chicken. Uh, Aegis does not yeah. fall for it, and that's a happy birthday. That is what happens when you He's lose. Not calling assist to pick up though. Yeah, when you DHC take chicken and you lose, like you're, you're eating oh, a pretty fat punish. Something else I want to point out is that Doki's getting his level four resonance immediately with his assist, whereas Aegis. Like, he could easily have had the Blake die and only had level 2 residents. And comebacks are a lot harder without level 4. Because you're not, you're not getting a, the full potential of the meter usage. Yeah, yeah you don't get... You, you also get red health quicker. Yeah. Level you get red health quicker, you deal more chip damage, and you have more meter to spend. Can't escape from crossing fate. Mm -hmm. And the most important part is you have Astral. So, yes. you know... <laughs> Astral, as wild as it is, is a good comeback mechanic. It is optimal. That is plus afterwards, but gets hit out of it anyways. Probably trying to do with something slower. Maybe 2C. Oh, I like the cross up, but good I don't necessarily like the, the push block. And a TRM does not get the pickup afterwards. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Rock, paper, scissors, they baby. Baited the Rock, paper, scissors, and Docky breaks first. What would that be? Like DP? If DP is rock. <laughs> DP is 100% rock. Well, what, what's scissors then? I was thinking blocking would be rock and DP would be scissors. It's like rock beats scissors, but then what's paper attacking? Uh. Well, you'd, you'd have a grab, block, and attack would be the three, right? I can see grabbing being paper. Grab is paper, DP is scissors, blocking like, is rock. D DP would still be attack because that's. What about gun? Gun is wake up super. <laughs> gun is toga. <laughs> gun is gun is toga. Yep. Now, anyways, back to the match. This Orie is dead, and this Yane is almost dead, but this Blake has enough health to hold it down. Only level two resonance out on this Ruby. It's not the level four I was talking about earlier, but he just does. Good jump. All right, that is an incredibly safe super, if not push block. Yeah, there it is. Good push block super. Takes him out. Game it three down. Aegis. This is you, JT. Uh, that, that was something that, uh, yeah, you and Shadow. That's something I've seen Aegis do a lot more now is push block super. Because both of his characters benefit from it a decent bit. Especially Blake, Yane. Yeah, I think Yane's, Yane's is something ridiculous like a two or three frame window. It's, it's short. It's pretty much instant. Yeah, Yane's is really good. Blake's isn't beach. as good. But it's it's still pretty good. I've been actually blabbing the push block for Mitsuru and Waldstein uh, to super. It's, yeah. It's... I've been doing it. I caught you with it like twice last week. 